Japanese automaker Nissan's cars have established themselves as reliable vehicles, largely thanks to engines made in Japan. Various designs ranging from inline fours to V8Es, yes, all boast high build quality. However, only a few Japanese Nissan engines have gained widespread popularity. The era of eternal engines ended with the advent of downsizing, where engineers began to extract maximum power from minimal displacement. As a result, each year it becomes increasingly rare to find reliable engines that could be called not just million mile engines, but capable of serving without serious issues for at least a quarter of that mileage. It is precisely these rare and reliable engines that we will discuss, so here are the best Nissan engines in history. The Nissan SR20 engine is a representative of a large family of gasoline power units from the Japanese company, united under the SR index. The volume of these engines ranged from 1.6 to 2 liters. The SR series engines, specifically the 2 liter engines of this series, were installed in a very large list of passenger cars produced by Nissan in the 90s and 2000s. Among all the power units of the SR series, the SR20 DE is the most famous and, one might say, even legendary. These engines were installed in the 8th generation Nissan Bluebird model, which was very actively imported by dealers. Almost simultaneously with the naturally aspirated engine, its turbocharged version appeared, named SR20DT. The first version, by analogy with the naturally aspirated engine, was called SR20DET Red Top. This engine was produced, like its naturally aspirated version, until 1994. This engine had a Garrett T25G turbocharger, which produced a pressure of 0.5 bars. This boost allowed it to develop a power of 205 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute. The engine's torque was 274 nanometers at 4,000 revolutions per minute. To maintain the engine's durability, its compression ratio was reduced to 8.5 and the connecting rods were reinforced. For the sports car Nissan S14 Silvia, a slightly different, more powerful version of this engine was produced. This car had an engine with a power of 220 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute and a torque of 274 nanometers at 4,800 revolutions per minute. The most powerful versions of the Nissan SR20 engine were installed in the 21st century on the well-known crossover Nissan X-Trail GT. However, this version of the crossover was not officially sold in Central Asia. It is worth mentioning the durability of this engine. Like most power units of that time, produced in the land of the rising sun, they are practically eternal. Their piston group easily lasts half a million kilometers or more. In other words, these engines have a much longer lifespan than the bodies of the cars they were installed in. The SR20 DE and DET series engines are distinguished by excellent characteristics, reliability, and durability. Moreover, these engines are easily repairable. This power unit is a representative of a very successful family of engines united under the TD index. This family included a wide range of engines with volumes from 2.3 to 4.2 liters and power outputs from 76 to 161 horsepower. The TD42 diesel is not just one engine, but a whole series of engines that were at the top of the TD family lineup. Unlike its younger siblings, the TD42 was the only power unit with six cylinders, while all other TD family engines were four cylinder. These engines are not just successful, they are truly legendary and this is due to a number of qualities. First of all, these power units, despite their relatively low power, have an enormous torque at low revs, which is very important when driving on rough terrain. This quality has long been appreciated by participants in both professional and, to a greater extent, amateur rallies, where Nissan patrol vehicles have long been a staple. Another equally important quality is the exceptional reliability of these engines. True legends have been told about their reliability. Most vehicles with these power units have covered around 1 million kilometers without major repairs, and with careful maintenance, a million is far from the limit. Essentially, these are truly eternal engines.
The Nissan GA 16DE engine is a prominent representative of the popular lineup from Nissan as this unit has earned the trust of many car enthusiasts. The extensive and widespread engine lineup has taken a leading position in the automotive market, thereby confirming not only the quality but also the efficiency of the engine's performance. They have proven themselves well over the years as they are not demanding on fuel or oil. Moreover, Nissan has designed everything so well that even the operation of the unit is characterized by simplicity. The engine construction, regardless of its power and other indicators, does not differ. The cast iron block has an aluminum head and two timing chains. The engine's lifespan can vary depending on usage. Although the units are unpretentious, using low quality fuel or oil reduces their lifespan. With proper maintenance, the engine's lifespan is 310,000 miles or more, compared to the general mileage of 186,000 miles. For proper maintenance, it is necessary to adjust the valve clearances every 31,000 miles and timely replace the oil, spark plugs, and filter. Many car enthusiasts, as well as those who are planning to purchase a car with the GA16DE engine, are interested in the repairability of the unit, as this affects not only comfort, but also the economic aspect. According to reviews, it can be said that in older Nissan Almera models, there were problems with the contamination of the mass airflow sensor, MAF. Similar issues also arose with the contamination of the regulator that controls the east. Such repairs are not complicated, and the elements can be cleaned independently. The engine is durable, has no chronic issues, and except for periodic problems, using good fuel and oil with regular maintenance can confidently eliminate all risks of potential problems that occur with such units. Another masterpiece of Japanese engine building is the RB26 DET engine, which was released by Nissan in 1989. Its success in motorsports later prompted Toyota to create its own 2JZ. To this day, debates continue about which engine is better, but that is not the topic of our discussion. The RB26 DETT had a displacement of 2.6 liters, 24 valves, and two turbochargers, which allowed it to achieve a power output of 280 horsepower on paper. In reality, the power of the unmodified engine reached 330 horsepower. Like its competitor from Toyota, the engine had high tuning potential and reliability. The RB26 DET engine was intended for the Nissan Skyline GTRAR32, R33, R34, and stayed. 260 RS. The RB26 DTT became one of the most famous engines due to its performance and tuning potential. Like the Skyline GTR engine, it is also very reliable. The problems include only slight oil starvation in early engines, typical for the RB series, and coil failure approximately every 100,000 kilometers, regular maintenance, using only high quality oil and gasoline, and avoiding tuning lead to long and trouble free operation. In such cases, the lifespan can be considerable. When talking about iconic Japanese engines of the 80s, Toyota JZ or Nissan RB immediately come to mind. However, there is a little-known Nissan FJ20, which became a revolution in Japanese engine building and was the most powerful engine in Japan in the early 80s. By the end of the 70s, the once great Nissan Skyline had turned from an unrivaled sports car into a heavy and slow coupe with a decades-old engine. Therefore, when developing the new generation Skyline, engineers decided to return to the roots and create a lightweight car with a powerful engine. In 1981, the new 6th generation Nissan Skyline with the R30 index debuted. Unlike its predecessor, the new Skyline became lower, wider, but most importantly lighter and received an entirely new FJ20 engine. Unlike the ancient 6-cylinder L20, the new engine lost two cylinders but received a 16-valve cylinder head and for the first time in the world, a sequential fuel injection system. Thus, the naturally aspirated Nissan FJ 20 easily produced 150 horsepower, which is 5 horsepower more than the turbo version of the L20 ET. Moreover, the FJ20 significantly outpaced its main competitor, the 8-valve Toyota 18RG, which produced only 135 horsepower and was installed in the Toyota Celica. Consumers received the Nissan Skyline R30 very well. The Japanese automotive press of those years was full of praise, calling the Nissan FJ20 the best engine in the world. Riding the wave of success, in October 1981, Nissan released the lightweight 1,130 kilograms Nissan Skyline 2000 RS, which became an excellent basis for racing. 
course, Toyota had to respond to the appearance of the FJ20, and in 1982 it released the 3T GTE engine. It had a rather strange design, an 8-valve cylinder head with two spark plugs per cylinder and a turbocharger. In this configuration, the engine produced 160 horsepower. Of course, the FJ20 did not achieve the same fame as the RB26, but in terms of reliability, it surpasses it, and its tuning potential is almost comparable. The main thing is that it was the Nissan FJ20 that opened the era of new Japanese engines. High tech, powerful, and very reliable. When planning the release of a new generation business sedan in the 90s, designers and developers set themselves the task of developing a powerful and reliable engine. The already produced VG engine was taken as a basis. The many years of experience in using and repairing VG series engines were taken into account and partially embodied in the VQ30DE engine, which subsequently became only a transitional model to the VQ series engines. The VQ series was almost annually recognized as the best among its counterparts by the World's Auto World magazine and made it to the top 10 best engines in the world 15 times. The VQ25DD and VQ30DD models are quite popular among business and premium class sedans, known for their stable operation, calm character, and high resource. With careful and proper use, the VQ series engines are undoubtedly long-lived. Did you know that these units stayed on the assembly line for more than 26 years? However, in modern realities, the engine created in the mid-90s continues to remain in service. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to not miss interesting updates.